We've hacked into the enemy mainframe. Okay, so now what? Shall I copy or transmit it? They've already entered the manual override code. The partitions are being deleted. Hurry up and start your transmission. Roger. You just clear your head out and wait for me. I tell ya, being able to interlink with your sister has got to be real convenient. I wouldn't say that. She has so many random thoughts. I can't help it. We're humans, not realians. You can telepathically talk to the Kaiser, right, little master? That sounds a lot more convenient to me. You don't need this annoying contraption, either. Not really. I have to constantly make sure I watch what I'm thinking. Or else I start sending thoughts I don't want to send. The whole thing's just as tiring as hell. It'd be easier just to write him a letter. Oh, I didn't know it was like that. Yep, that's how it is. <laughs> you okay, Mary? Yeah, I'm all right, but look what you did. Oh. I'm sorry to say that all data from the enemy mainframe has been lost. Ah, oh, oops. It's because of all those cheesy action flicks you keep on watching. They've launched a lifeboat. Shall we pursue? Nah, no need to pursue them that far. We just need to know where they're headed. Place a trace request with the UMN Administration Bureau. Let's head back. Hurry up with the retrieval preparations on board the Durandal. All hands, check your equipment. Don't leave any evidence behind. Amazing. I can't believe how much his personality changes when he's holding a gun. A lust for conquest and absolute power, and the desire to have a really big gun. I suppose that'd be the standard explanation. <laughs> you don't hold back, do you, Shelley? Although, in Little Master's case, it's probably just a complex about his height. <laughs> probably, but I think Little Master's plenty attractive just the way he is. <laughs> True. Mary, we'll be leaving in two minutes. Hurry back, okay? Roger. It's a shame. Little Master doesn't have any choice in the matter but to stay that size. I thought Commander Cherenkov was here with you. What's the matter? Well, he skipped dinner again, so I've been looking for him. Did you check outside? He mentioned something about finding a charter flight. Wait a minute. Wearing that uniform? Yeah. Oh, that's bad. Mm -hmm. This area was abandoned by the government and never properly restored after the war. The people here haven't forgotten how violent the military was, though. It's no place for a soldier to be wandering around. Is it really that dangerous here? Well, it's fine if you're a civilian.
Well, in that case, we better go find him before anything happens. Yeah, you're right. I'll go get Ziggy. He'll probably come in handy at a time like this. All right. I'll go with Alan, then. He doesn't look very useful, though. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> 